What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, I'm gonna show you some new stuff I did with my computer. So, right now, I think I have hit the, um, the 700, the 700 threshold for packages, which, you know, sort of sucks. I, having 706 packages on your computer instead of 690, but, um, you know, I run the command that is supposed to, um, I run the command that is supposed to, uh, get rid of package orphans, and there are no orphans, you know, and so I don't, you know, I haven't installed too much, it's just that I tried installing keypass key uh, XE, and I installed keypass, and I installed um, uh, some extra stuff for PCMan FM to work, and just stuff like that, just some extra libraries and dependencies, and, you know, now I'm over 700, which is fine, you know, it's just a little bit, um, less attractive of a NeoFetch, you know, having over a 700 package uh, amount, but it doesn't really matter at all. Um, but uh, I got PC Man working, uh, PC Man FM working a little better. I have it as PC Man FM QT because, uh, you know, I would lie and maybe say that I like the QT framework a little better, but that's not true. I'm rather indifferent between QT and GTK. Um, it's just that on the GTK3 version of PC Man FM that I was running, uh, whenever I like, I wouldn't ever have PC Man FM in windowed mode, but a good example would be like when I have a terminal open. Uh, but the only issue is that it turns it into a not, it, it turns into like a, like a carrot, you know, um, whenever I highlight over it. So um, I would have this issue where whenever I would move my cursor to the desktop and then to PC Man FM, whenever I moved on to PC Man FM, my cursor would get big, which is pretty unusual considering. Um, Considering in my X resources, I have uh, I have my cursor size set, so I don't know what's up with that. It's just really unusual. Um, and also, I've been having this weird thing where it keeps making a a file. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'll figure that out. Never mind. Um, so yeah, I've got PC Man FM set up. I also have it so then I have this little shortcut for my um, what for my uh, NAS server, so I could just immediately go to my all the stuff on my NAS server, which isn't doesn't look you know doesn't look like anything you guys shouldn't see. Um, and yeah, my only issue is this desktop button. I don't have a desktop, like this is just an image, <laughs> you know, I, I can't put things here um, because I'm running i3, and so this desktop thing just sort of redirects to my home folder, which you would think, oh, just right click and choose, um, oh yeah, whoops, just right click and choose hide, but when I do that, um, it just it just removes the desktop, and it removes both the home and desktop entry, um, which is irritating, so. Uh, yeah, so another thing I did was I, um, let me just do this for an example. Oh, it opens in GIMP? Wait, let me fix this. Hold on. It's because, okay, sorry, my mind is kind of everywhere right now. Um, oh, it's so over. So I made the background on XX, SXIV to be black instead of white, because typically it would be white and it would open up on half my screen and it would blind me because I have everything on dark mode mostly. Um, so now I have a black background on SXIV, which is nice. Um, and ugh, the reason why this didn't show up as animated, which I said it to before, is because um, is because I tried out NSXIV, because uh, I looked at NSXIV on Ar the ArchWiki. Um, well, I looked at the SSIV entry on the ArchWiki and it was like, hey, SXIV is deprecated, you know, in the same sort of way EXA is deprecated and how you should use EZA. Uh, there was a non-deprecated fork called NSXIV and so I tried installing it. It didn't really work with the X resources modification uh, to make the background black, so I just reinstalled SXIV um, and it's fine. I don't really care if I have a deprecated package and I can't really imagine too many security issues coming up from uh, coming up from an image viewer, so I'm going to keep using deprecated SXIV, um, but let me fix this really quick. Um, what? Maybe I should do... Is that it? Um, one sec.
Uh, okay, we're back. So it turns out the issue here wasn't with my um, ZSH and uh, my my ZSH alias. So if I go to picks and I do um, 029 on this, uh, XSIB on this, it shows up as animated. But the issue was that um, my default in PC Man FM uh, had it open with XXIV by default when it says open with nothing and it's just blank here, but it's actually opening up with SXIV uh, dash A, which is exactly what I want. Um, so yeah, so now it's animated GIFs. Um, but yeah, I just fixed that on the fly. What can I say? Um, and yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm just happy with how I have XX, SXIV set up. And I also like how, I'm not gonna show you guys this because I don't wanna show you guys any videos I have recorded, but um, actually, no, I can, I can. Um, vids, media, uh, there we go. So here's an old Leo the PO video um, from before I, you know, I here's an old Leo the PO video and I have it automatically streaming through MPV. And the nice thing is, is that MPV shows um, thumbnails. So that's pretty cool. It shows MP, it shows thumbnails on streaming MPV videos, which is just nice. It's actually kind of acting weird right now. Oh, it's just going slow. I don't know why it's doing, I don't know why it's going slow. That's unusual. Weird, maybe it's because I'm recording a video or something, but that would be strange considering I have NVENC encoding. Um, but um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've done on my computer. Um, I'm working on a little bit of schoolwork. I'm gonna work on some stuff for CompTIA now. Actually, I'm gonna do some Linux stuff and then I'm gonna work on stuff for CompTIA. Um, and then that's sort of the plan. Um, yeah, I hope everybody has a good day, and yeah, see you, dude.